Successive storms saturated California, creating more than 300 landslides in January, according to the state's Department of Conservation. That gave the state a chance to try a new way to save lives and reduce damage. All the vegetation was gone. So when the storm hit, it hit really suddenly, and it had a ton of material available for it to mobilize. And that's exactly what it did. Back in 2017, wildfires tore through the Montecito area, charring 280,000 acres. Those fires were followed by deadly mudslides in early 2018. Retired Santa Barbara Fire Chief Patrick McElroy formed a community organization that hopes to prevent such a huge tragedy from happening again. I was here in 2018 and I was still working. And um, to wake up and go through a day starting to realize how many people had died, how many people had been injured, how many people were missing, and uh, how many people uh, had lost their homes. It was a devastating experience. Since then, the state has more tools to pinpoint the spots most vulnerable to mudslides and figure out how much rain it would take to trigger a slide. They're also managing the landslides with debris basins and nets to capture the material flowing down mountains. We had an engineering firm come out and map the canyons and look at what would be the best sites to put uh, debris nets in. Miguel Roy says he's still haunted by what happened in 2018, but he's relieved to see changes that have been put in place since then. I'm not, I'm not over it yet, but to uh, wake up you know, the other day and see no injuries and no fatalities, I just can't tell you how impressed I am. The new measures aren't cheap. Santa Barbara County's new basin cost 20 million, and McElroy's organization spent nearly 2 million to install the nets. But with the storms in December and January costing more than 1 billion, experts say the alternative is more costly.